Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 22 of our series of session on Tally's release 3.0 where we are covering GST module. And in this video, we will be covering the episode 4 of our input tax credit reversal or the stat adjustment features that we have been learning. In today's video, we will cover two more ITC reversal which falls under rule 42 and 43. We will understand what is this rule 42, 43 and how are we going to make this reversal entry if the dealer is claimed input tax credit on these supplies. Let us go to tally and explore the option of managing the reversal of these nature of transactions. Rule 42 specifies the process or procedure to reverse ITC if the user has claimed input on input of goods or services which are not eligible to claim ITC. We will see three use cases where ITC claim is ineligible. The three cases are number one, if it is used for non-business or personal use. Number two, exclusively affecting exempt supply. The third is the negative list where ITC is not allowed to be claimed. You will see on the screen the sample of negative list that is motor vehicle, food beverages, club membership and others. The next is sale of membership in club, health and fitness center. Fourth one is towards travel and fifth one is work contract. Now there are three scenarios under which the ITC has to be reversed as per rule 42. Let us understand this with a simple example of each of the scenario. The first scenario observe on the screen. This is the case of input used for non-business purposes. Let us say the total input credit available for the month is rupees 1 lakh. Out of this, an amount of 10,000 rupees has been used for non-business purposes. Now, what is the net ITC amount to be claimed? The total input credit which is 1 lakh minus 10,000 rupees of input which is used for non-business purposes has to be reduced. So the balance ITC to be claimed will be 90,000 and now this amount of rupees 10,000 has to be reversed for the said month. Let us cover the other two scenarios and then learn how to use stat journal for this reversal. Now let us see the second scenario. Under the second scenario, let us assume the total input credit is again 1 lakh and the input attributed exclusively for effecting exempt sale is say rupees 20,000. Again here a simple math. The net input credit will be total input credit minus the input towards effecting exempt supply. The net ITC to be claimed will be 80,000. Now, rupees 20,000 has to be reversed in this case. Let us take the third scenario, which is important to understand. If you notice on the screen, let us take this example of again, total credit available, which means this credit amount of rupees 1 lakh is used partially towards taxable supply and partially towards exempt supply. Now the rule specifies a formula to ascertain the amount of input credit to be reversed. So for us to ascertain the value of input credit to be reversed, we have to find out the value of exempt supply. Say the aggregate turnover of exempt supply is amounting to rupees 20 lakhs. Now we have to consider the aggregate total turnover for the month. Let us say the total turnover for the month is say 10 lakh rupees. Now based on this information, we have to now apply the formula. So the value to be reversed will be like this. That is take the value of exempt turnover divided by the total turnover. So the exempt turnover value is 2 lakhs and the total turnover is 10 lakhs. Once you divide, whatever is the answer we are getting, multiply that with the common ITC. The common ITC here is 1 lakh. 2 lakh divided by 10 lakh multiplied by 1 lakh, the answer will be 20,000. Now this is the amount that needs to be reversed in this third use case scenario. Once you arrive at the amount of input credit to be reversed from any of these three scenarios we just now saw, we will have to now use Stat Journal in Tally Prime to reverse the amount of ineligible input credit. Let us now learn to pass this entry. Let us take the example of an entry which I have already passed. The use case here I have taken is 
the dealer has undertaken some repair work for their office building and they have claimed the ITC on the GST levied for the same. So the building repair and maintenance is 50,000 and the input credit on 50,000 is CGST 4,500 and SGST 4,500 and this is supplied by the dealer in Karnataka. The expenses towards building repair and maintenance falls under negative list which is works contract where all type of dealers are not eligible to claim the input tax credit of this 9000 rupees. Now we have to pass the second entry which is through stat journal to reverse this itc of 4500 rupees cgst and 4500 rupees sgst so let's pass a voucher so we are going to reverse this at the end of the month 30th of april we are in journal voucher we have to come to stat adjustment here click on stat adjustment we are going to select the tax duty and type GST. The nature of adjustment is going to be a reversal of input tax credit. And once we select, we have seen this in our earlier videos, the additional nature of adjustment has to be selected. Now, this is important because whatever is the additional nature of adjustment we are selecting from the list provided here will get captured in the respective table of form GSTR. 3b so in this case we are going to first select exempt and non-business supply against rule 42 since we are reversing the entire input tax credit claim we are going to now debit the total value of 9000 rupees to the cost of your expenses originally we had debited only 50000 rupees as expenditure towards building material now we have to take this amount of 9000 and add to the original value that we have already claimed so we are going to select building repair and maintenance the amount is going to be 9000 we are going to credit cgst the rate is going to be nine percent for this and the taxable value is 50000 4500 is the amount of cgst the balance is sgst automatically the value will get captured enter gst detail we are going to say this is towards supply of goods and we are going to save this let us now view gstr 3b written form notice here the first journal where we accounted for the expenses we had accounted 50000 towards the expenses and we had claimed 4500 each as input tax credit so if you just select this and press enter we will see here that under all other input tax credit we have this credit of 4500 each press enter it is going to take you to the detail of the transaction again by selecting this we can go back into the voucher itself escape come back now if you observe the second transaction that we have passed towards a reversal of input tax credit as per rule 42 is the entire amount of 4500 each so input tax credit reversed in this case is the entire amount again select this and press enter we will see that all the reversals as per rule 38 42 and 43 of cgst rule under section 17.5 of one of the rule is getting captured here in the respective table entering again will take you to the detail of the transaction and select here we will go back into the voucher this is how we can reverse the input tax credit claimed as per rule 42 now let us take the second use case which is a reversal under rule 43 let us understand what is this reversal or what are the nature of transactions which falls under rule 43 and how are we going to reverse it and we will first go through the use case scenarios the next reversal that we are going to see is rule 43 so rule 43 mentions about the reversal of input tax credit on capital goods here again the concept is same as per the earlier example we saw but in case of common credit there is a slight variation to formula we need to apply we will take a quick look into rule 43 and understand the three scenarios here again the reversal of itc has to be done completely under two cases which are if the machinery is used exclusively for exempt supply then the value of input credit on the purchase of machinery which is used for exempt supply has to be reversed and the second one is if the machinery is used for non-business 
purposes first we will take the use case scenario of exclusively used for exam supply observe again on the screen here the example that we are taking here again let us say the total input tax credit available is 1 lakh and itc on machinery which is exclusively used for exam supply amounts to rupees 20000 so the net input tax credit available is going to be 1 lakh of the total input tax credit on both the machinery minus the value of input credit towards the purchase of machinery which is exclusively used for exam supply so the balance amount that is available is 80000 rupees and the 20000 rupees in this case has to be reversed let's see the use case scenario number 2 which is used for non business here again we'll take the same example the total input credit available is going to be 1 lakh and itc on machinery which is purchased which is exclusively used for non business purpose amounts to rupees 10000 so the net credit available is going to be rupee 1 lakh minus rupees 10000 is going to be 90000 rupees and itc has to be reversed to the extent of rupees 10000 let us take the third use case scenario this is very important to understand again observe the screen here itc on machinery used partly for taxable and partly for exempted goods is 6 lakhs which means the company has purchased a machinery on which they have an input credit of 6 lakh rupees but this machinery is used partly for taxable supply and also partly for exempted supply so in this case we are not able to segregate the amount of input credit to the exact amount related to taxable turnover and exempted turnover so that is why this is called as common credit now for us to arrive at the reversal of input tax credit from this common credit of 6 lakhs that is available we have to again consider the aggregate turnover value of exempt supply in this case let us say the aggregate turnover of exempt supply for the set month is 3 lakh rupees and the total turnover for the month is 10 lakh rupees now as per gst law the useful life of machinery is considered as 60 months which means whatever is the total input tax credit that is available we have to now divide by 60 months so if you see here the monthly value of itc will be 6 lakh rupees of total common input credit divided by 60 the amount is going to be 10000 so 10000 is the monthly input tax credit that can be claimed so we have arrived at the monthly input tax credit so now we have to apply the formula specified in rule 43 to arrive at the amount of input tax credit to be reversed from this common credit so the formula again is going to be here take the value of exempted turnover divided by the total turnover and multiply the amount from the monthly common itc which is 10000 so if you see the value here 3 lakh is the exam turnover 10 lakh is total turnover multiplied by the monthly common input tax credit so the net amount which pertains to the supply of exempt goods or services will be 3000 rupees now this is the amount we have to reverse in this case let us pass this entry in tally so you would have arrived at the ineligible input tax credit from any of the scenarios we have discussed now so once you have arrived at the value of input credit that you have to reverse we will now pass through stat journal so before we make a reversal entry let us make the primary entry of where we have purchased the machinery and input tax credit has been claimed under common input tax credit so i have taken this entry in the month of may the company has purchased a machinery worth 10 lakh rupees and the input credit on this is 1 lakh 80 thousand which is supplied by a dealer from delhi so the igst is applicable so 1 lakh 80 thousand igst has been claimed as input tax credit now let us say by applying the formula of the common input tax credit 
we have arrived at the value of 18000 rupees in this month for which input tax credit has to be reversed so how do we pass the reversal entry we go to voucher entry journal the reversal entry is passed on 31st of may come down to stat adjustment click on stat adjustment gst reversal of input tax credit and this time we will select the additional nature of adjustment as capital credit due to exempted supply rule 43 select this now under debit the 18000 rupees of tax becomes ineligible so it has to be added to the cost of the machinery or you can take it to any of the expenses account ideally you can add it to the cost of the machinery so that at least by this way you will get the depreciation benefit on this 18000 which you are reversing so i'm going to debit machinery the amount is going to be 18000 i'm going to credit igst the rate is 18000 and the taxable amount is say 1 lakh provide gst detail we have to say against what type of supply so this is actually the capital goods entered and we are going to save this so let's view the return form we are in gstr 3b the month is may month and you will observe here the input tax credit available is 180000 which is towards purchase of machinery and that machinery has been used for taxable supply and partially for exempted supply so we had understood the formula and as per the formula we have arrived at the amount of tax that needs to be reversed that is 18000 rupees so the net tax that is going to be available for the month to be claimed is 180000 minus 18000 the net amount is going to be 162000 i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of understanding the requirement as per gst rule 4243 and a simple formula which i had explained about how you have to reverse the input tax credit on the capital goods would help you to manage the proper compliance towards gst So thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much